So again, in this video, we're going to talk about utilities that you can use to deploy your rules. So in the last video, we kind of closed out talking about the deployment framework for BizTalk. Even if you don't want to use the entire framework, you can still download the source code and then compile this program right here. So I'm going to go to here. It's called deploybtrules.exe. And so that's the program that will take a vocabulary or a rule and automatically insert it onto your target machine and then not only publish it but deploy it as well. Then I found another thing on CodePlex and I didn't like it exactly as it was so I ended up changing it a little bit and it was called Export BT Rules and so I will zip this and give it to you and we're going to kind of walk through what the code does in this video. So we're going to open this solution this is what we see over here as far as the files. It has a fairly complex command line parser and I believe that's some, uh, I don't know if you call it open source or not, it's, it says it's contributed by Chris Sells from Chris at SellsBrothers.com and it's also from the Gingus group. This software is provided as is, etc, etc. So that's some software apparently, I'm not apparently, it's software that handles your command line arguments. So you can define basically what you want your command line to do and this handles it for you. So if you do a lot of console programs, this is something you might like to use in your other console programs. And then this is the guts of the routines that uh, we use now to extract our rules. So it's in this file called exportbtrules.exe. And so you see these declaratives here, clp parser usage. This has to do again with uh, parsing the command line which is that other C Sharp library I referred you to a minute ago. So here's our main routine and again it parses the command arguments and handles that and then we're going to create an object that's a driver of the rule set deployment driver. And I'm not going to walk through you know every line of this code I just want to give you some of the major parts of it. So a rule set, remember just the terminology, is the same as a policy. So if you pass it an empty policy, then it uh, does this bit of logic. If it's Oh sorry, if it's not equal to empty, then it's going to use this. And then it's going to check to see if it's equal to all or not. If it's equal to all, it's going to do one set of logic. I'm sorry, if it's not equal to all, it's going to look for a specific single policy and export that. However, if it's equal to all, that's the else here it's actually going to look at all the policies. So I think that's the part I added if I remember. I think I found this routine somewhere else but it didn't have the all function. So what we did here is I think right here rule store dot get rule set if you go back to where rule store is first defined we'll do go to definition that doesn't look like it so let me say find rule store here Well, the rule store refers to your database. So right here it says like dd, that's your driver, dot get rule store. And so that would uh, tie to whichever SQL server that stores your BizTalk rules. And of course all the rules are stored in SQL. Okay, so back down here we get our rule store and we get all the rules in that rule store. And then we can simply iterate and loop through them. So here we're saying RSI is going to be a new rule and it's going to get the name, the current, the major version, the minor version. And then it's going to say export rule set to file rule store. Then string short file name is, this is the name of the file you want to write it out to. And then we're going to append to that. Okay, I'm sorry, the append here, this is that other program I just referred you to a second ago. So look here. It's going to write out a syntax file. Sorry, wrong directory. Okay, here is this program from the BizTalk deployment framework called deploybtrules.exe. So as we run this program, it's going to build the proper syntax and a command file to actually write that to the target machine. So if we go back to the top and look for out file name, OK, 
Okay, I guess it's right there. Well, I think it just calls it deploy all, but we'll see here when we run it just a few minutes. And anyway, we're not, like I said, we're not going to walk through all this code. So let's see what it does and just show you how well it really works. So let's do a build here. Make sure it builds on this machine. Okay, so now I'll show you a couple more tricks. Over here we have a command file to run it called exportall.command. And so this is an example of the syntax of this utility if you want to export all your rules on the current machine. So right here, this is the name of the utility that we just compiled. The first parameter is rule set name, and you can actually list specific rule policy names if you want to. But this is the magic is to say all. Then you say this is the name of the directory on the disk where I want to store it. And in this case, I created a directory called business rules. Now this directory does have to exist. It doesn't, uh, does not create it for you. So on our hard disk here then, we're going to go to the C colon and make a directory called business rules. And then under that, what I end up doing is I run this different times depending upon different deployments we're doing. So today is March 17th, let's do 2009, March 17th, like that. Okay, so I want to take this file here and basically recreate or copy it into the bin directory that we just created. So let's go to okay here on the disk we're going to go to export BT rules bin debug and this is our exe that we want to run but what we don't have here is the command file. So again if we go back up a couple of directories find the command file called export all and if we go back to that directory and paste it there we should now be able to run the export all command. So instead of running it, double clicking it here, again, if there's errors, it'll flash by so fast you won't be able to read them. So if you go to your command prompt window, and we're going to go to source, biz talk training, common, export, and then we're going to go to bin debug. And now I'm going to run Okay, before I run it, we need to change one thing here. So we're going to open this file, and it's no longer August 21st. It is now 2009, March 17. Okay. So here, I want to run exportall.cmd. And the way it goes, it says there are five rules, five vocabularies, and boom, it's done. And that is that is just super cool. <laughs> Again, once you start deploying rules, I think you'll really appreciate what this just did. So now we're going to go back to our business rule directory here, March 20, March 17th, and these are the files that it created. Now, one thing it doesn't do, which would be a nice enhancement, is it needs to package along with it the other deploy command. So right now, up till now, I've been doing this manually. So here is the BT rules, deploy BT rules that came from the BizTalk framework utility. So you need to copy that into this directory. And then what you can do is zip or package this and then move it to your QA or your production machine. And now let's look at this command. So remember when we exported it, we ran export all. Let's show you that again here. So right here, remember, we ran, if I just hit the up arrow, export all dot cmd. And so when we ran that, it exported all the rules and the vocabularies, and then it created a file called deploy all dot command. Now if we open the deploy all command, you'll see it actually does, it's smart enough to do the vocabularies first. It should be anyway. 
So notice some of these here have uh, rule sets on them and some don't. So actually these are the vocabularies and these are the rules. And so we should do the vocabularies first. So actually I think I may have a newer version of this program somewhere. And if I don't, I apologize for that. I can't even get copy paste to work here. Strange. Cut. Paste. So I think the newer version of the rule does something like this. It puts here like rem for remark and it says uh, end of vocab. And then, so your vocabularies don't need to be deployed, they just need to be published. And there's two other things you'd want to do here. Um, the two that you never really want to publish or, or move are functions, so you can delete that, and predicates. And let me remind you what those are. If you go over here to the Business Rule Composer, and we look under vocabularies again, Remember there was a group of functions here that were there in the beginning and then there was a group down here called predicates. So the utility, I believe my newer version actually ignores them, but the older version apparently did not. And then the other thing this does right now is it only exports the highest version of the vocabulary and you might also need to publish the older versions of the vocabulary as well. So that's why I'm saying this, this may not be even fully baked, but it'll still save you a lot of time. And I'm just going to give you the source code as I have it here. I can't really search for a newer one right now uh, to see if I have a newer one. So um, the next thing it does is deploys these rules. And if it's a policy, then it says, puts this name right here. So this is the input file name, and then this is going to be the policy name. So you notice in most cases they're the same. The file name, we just put the major mi minor version number on it. Um, but of course the file name doesn't have to be the same as the rule set name. So to do the deploy, the API needs to know what the name of the rule is. And so that's why we have this additional parameter on rules that we do not have on vocabularies. And again, the other thing this does, it exports everything that you have in your business rules. And so for instance, if I was actually moving to QA now, I would say, actually, I don't think you need these either, common and common values. You don't need those. So, for instance, maybe insert XML nodes was a demo I was doing for the video. And maybe uh, global and master were for another video. And so today, you know, this is maybe the only ones that I want to migrate. So it builds this for you and then you can kind of tweak it a little and remove the items that you don't think are necessary and then you can save it. Okay. Now the same thing that you de that you deleted in the file you might want to delete the actual files on the disk here as well. So for instance the predicates you want to delete that and you want to delete the functions and you should package probably only whatever files you have in your deploy all command. So let's do let's do this again. I'm going to just go back up here since I've edited that. I want to run export all again. Okay, so now it's put it back the way it was. So I'm going to edit this one more time now. And so what I want to do is shorten it a little bit. I'm going to do one I know is kind of like a, 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 an extra one. So like a while ago in the prior video, we did this one called Reload, right? And so I want to close that. And now what I want to do is go to the Business Rule Composer. And I want to find that file Reload, and I want to delete it which was this one right here. So I can't delete it until you undeploy it. Then you can delete it. So that loan processing reload is now gone. And so now we want to go to here to business rules and then go to 2009 March 
and then look for the command file here. It's called deploy all dot command. And you run that and it starts running the BT deploy rules, deploy BT rules file. And the this might take a little more time to run the upload than it does the download. And then you come over here and refresh. This would be presumably when you went to your QA or your production machine now. And you see that that policy was not only restored, it was also deployed. And as I explained to you a while ago, using the BizTalk deployment wizard, it will publish it, but will not deploy it. So by using this utility from the BizTalk deployment framework, which one more time is called uh, right here, deploy BT rules, and by using this syntax here, uh, it will not only publish it, but deploy it for you. And that will save you a lot of mouse clicks on your target system. So that pretty much wraps up this video on how to deploy. And on the next video, I think probably one of the last ones, we'll talk about things that can go wrong.